You have to seek happiness there. Get a job in the favelas and live there. There are many like you. You have to be with them. This and elephant is kind of classist. You won't make it. You are weak Why is the elephant kid? talking? Go back to the, the elephant is the man and he's holding the child down. This is all a metaphor about how hard it is to climb out of poverty. And the elephant, he's like a representation, man. Of like the people that are like, you can't do it and you shouldn't do it. Because this is where you belong. You belong in poverty. This is all you've ever known. This is all you'll ever know. Damn, that's so deep. That's so deep, bro. Oh my god. These two chairs, what they represent, they represent having to like climb on top of like other people, right? Because there's two chairs. And that's what the other thing was about. It's like if you want to go far, go alone. And then you're, and, and so you're leaving your friends behind in the favelas. And then you're climbing on the chairs. You're climbing on the chairs to go onto the train. You're jumping down onto the train and then you're going your own way. You're MGTOWing it. I don't know what the floating tree represents. I think that might have just been an accident. My father worked here as a driller and he always smelled of fuel oil. I was afraid of oh. him and hoped that one day he wouldn't come back from work. My father used to beat me as he a child. a lot and often beat my mother and me. But that's in the past. Oh, I'm still scared of him. say that soon no one will need oil, but it is unlikely to happen sooner than in 20 to 30 years. And meanwhile, oil is still a resource that people kill for. Thank you, AI narrator. Thank you for that information. Okay. Wow, this is so deep. What this is about, it's about this boy. He goes out to work in an, on an oil rig out in like, like the Middle East or something. And he's working on an oil rig to get money to escape because he doesn't want to be like his father. Because his father beat him and his mother. So he goes out... The music picked on. <laughs> picked up. So he goes out to work on this oil rig, right? And he starts getting money. And it's a hard life. And there's a lot of, like, bad shit that can happen. And a lot of bad people out there that want to hurt him. But he knows if he just continues on, if he if he works hard, he can he can get out of the favelas, whatever the fuck they're called. He can escape Brazil, and all he has to do is ah! belief. <laughs> it's a map in Rainbow Six Siege based in Brazil. That's good to know. That's good to know that the word originates from Rainbow Six Siege, and it's not like a real thing or anything. For a moment there, I was like, oh, that's like the poverty district in Brazil. But no, it's just a map in Rainbow Six Siege. That's good to know. I like to feel educated. <laughs> what? Oh my god, this is... We're in New Mexico, and this is the drug... The drug RV. We're gonna make meth. With Walter and Jesse. It's a metaphor. For in life. How sometimes... You have to, you have to, you, you go, you go down, you right, you're making progress in your life, and then you, you slip, and you have to, you have to fall back on old ways, and there's a police car watching, and we're about to make drugs to make, to make money. We're gonna make money to, um, to, to sustain ourselves, because we can't do the factory, man. We did the factory life, and we were like, no, we can't, we can't do factory work anymore. I don't want to be like my parents. I don't want to be like my kinfolk. I want to go out there. I want to make something in my life. And then, and then my friend, uh, Walter was like, what if you help me make drugs? And I was like, you know what? I don't want to, man. That's dangerous. And Walter was like, but you need the money, Pippa. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I do need the money. And Walter was like, damn right. Now help me make this crystal methamphetamine. And I was like, all right. And I saw the lawman watching me the entire time. I was like, oh man, is this really the path that I want to go down? <laughs> is this what I want to do with my life? But don't worry, it's only up from here. <laughs> and now we're getting out of here. We're moving on, man. We're getting out of this life. It's going to be hard. It's a long jump. It's one of the scariest jumps we've made so far. That's what the metaphor is. We're getting out of our drug selling days. And we're moving on to the next part of our life, chat. We're moving on to the next part of our life. All right. Let's go. Ah! Easy. 
It's the apple, dude. That represents like knowledge and shit. That's like we're gonna we're like we're, we're like climbing on top of the apple, and this is like the spine, right? We're like we're like betraying God's intended design, and we're we're ripping forth our spinal cords from our bodies in the pursuit of knowledge. We climb, we climb the fruit of knowledge, and we pull our spinal cords out, Flying and we stick. Without wings is cruel fun. And we stick, we stick the apple to the individual bones, and then we suck the juices from the apple, and we, and we climb the trees, and we say to ourselves, We are mankind! We can do anything we seek to do, but we don't ask ourselves if we should. And that's how you end up with the Barbie movie having the word patriarchy in it. Oh look! We are in Brazil, that's the statue they have. Christ the Redeemer. Jesus wants a hug. <gasps> you want a hug, Jesus? It was a snake, and there's a sword there. We thought it was the vertebrae of our spine, but actually it was a snake. And we stab the snake, and we say, No! I will not eat your apple! I will not seek knowledge! I will not be a sinner! I look to you, Christ! I do not want to... Everybody, everybody, make sure to sub like, comment, and subscribe to low low effort clips. That's right, low effort clips right here on YouTube.com. Yeah, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah.